Hey YouTube, it's ACU. Today, Apple released iOS 9.1 to the general public. Additional details on that here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade back to iOS 9.0.2 so that you can re-jailbreak and in turn reclaim the tweaks that were lost when updating. <laughs> All right, so getting started here, if you guys are interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6S, just be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on my giveaway, which is actually concluding next week. So again, be sure to get your entries in as soon as possible. Now, if you're not watching this video on the desktop version of YouTube and you're watching it on mobile, I highly recommend picking it up on your computer because there will be a number of annotations as well as cards throughout it that will assist you along the way. So again, we are going to be highlighting a method of how to downgrade iOS 9.1 back to 9.0.2 so that you can use the latest Pangu for iOS 9 jailbreak on the firmware. However, there's only one major caveat. Once Apple stops signing 9.0.2, downgrades to the firmware will no longer be possible. You can only restore to a firmware that Apple is currently signing. And as of recording this video, they're signing not only 9.1, the latest firmware, but also 9.0.2. Now they will stop signing the latter of the two firmwares. It's a matter of when, not if. Following the release of any new firmware in this case iOS 9.1, Apple will always sign its predecessor, in this case 9.0.2, for an unforeseen period of time. It always happens so that way if there are issues with the latest version for whatever reason, users can go back and they're not stuck with a brick device, as was the case with iOS 8.0.1 last year and the cellular issues it caused users. So again, on your screens now there will be a few annotations. One will actually be the latest status of iOS 9.0.2 stating whether it's still being signed by Apple, so you can always trust that to know whether this tutorial will still work for you. And the second one should be a link to my latest update video for the current version of iOS, be it 9.1 or a future iteration of iOS 9. So to reiterate one last time, iOS 9.0.2 is still being signed as of recording this video, October 21st. However, if you're watching this video at a later point, just refer to the desktop annotations so you can know whether Apple is still signing it. Now, one more quick thing before we get into this tutorial, we need to talk about backups briefly. So any data that you've accumulated on iOS 9.1 will not be saved when you go back to iOS 9.0.2. Apple just blocks backup restores from higher versions inside of iTunes. That's just how it is. So you'll need to restore from a backup that you created on iOS 9.0.2 or lower inside of iTunes. The same thing applies for iCloud. And if you just don't have one, you didn't create a backup when you were on 9.0.2 or earlier, then you can just sign into iCloud to retain as much information as possible that's stored on Apple's cloud servers. Now you're only going to need one thing downloaded for this tutorial, and that's the iOS 9.0.2 IPSW, the corresponding firmware file for your device. And if you go to download 9.0.2 and the firmware is still being signed by Apple and you encounter issues for whatever reason, I can guarantee you it's because you downloaded the wrong file for for your specific device, in which case you need to double check, possibly triple check it, and then re-download the right file for your specific iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now, in order to obtain the iOS 9.0.2 IPSW file, I highly recommend utilizing the site that I have linked to down below in the more info. There will be one post on best tech info, which will have a direct link to this IPSW download section. It's really great. I love using it because it's so simple. You'll just have two drop downs. The first one, you'll need to select your device. So we're going to be using an iPhone 6S to demonstrate with in this tutorial. So again, just type it out and then and click on it. Now readjusting the camera view here, this second drop down is for the specific iOS version. So in this case, we're after 9.0.2. Now you may have noticed that we have some green as well as red cells there over select versions of iOS. Now what that means is if it's green, Apple is still signing it. If it's red, it means the company is no longer signing that specific firmware. So as you can see, as of now, they are signing 9.0.2. So we can just click on it and then followed by download. So if for whatever reason you happen to miss the annotation, that preceded this segment, then that can kind of be your secondary fail safe. So once you've selected 9.0.2, provided it's still being signed, just click on download and then you're good to go. As you can see, I have the proper file here on my desktop. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can actually plug into our computer via a standard USB cable. And before I launch iTunes, I'm going to show you guys that this iPhone 
success is indeed running iOS 9.1 by launching up settings, general, about, and down below at the bottom for the version you'll notice it does confirm this is on iOS 9.1, the latest build. And we're also going to actually back up to the iCloud portion of the settings app. We need to toggle off find my device. So again, just go to the main settings screen followed by iCloud and then you need to scroll down to find my device. It will be dynamic based on whether you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch and you need to tap into it and then you have to toggle it off. So simply toggle it off and then input your passcode and once you do, find my device should be disabled and the only reason we have to actually turn it off, we can then re-enable it once we're fully done with the jailbreak process is because Apple blocks restores inside of iTunes with find my iPhone or find my device enabled. That's part of Apple's activation lock to prevent the theft of your device. So now that it's downloaded and find my iPhone is disabled on this 6S, we can go ahead and launch up iTunes and then just navigate to your main device tab. And depending on whether you're on a Windows based PC or a Mac running OS 10, you're going to hold down one of two keys. So if you're on Windows, hold down shift. If you're on a Mac like I am, you're going to hold down the option or alt key on your keyboard. So hold down the key that corresponds to your computer. In this case, again, because we are on Mac OS 10 El Capitan, we're going to hold down the option or alt key and then left click on restore. Do not left click on check for update. It's important that we left click on restore for this downgrade. And then you should receive a pop-up window and all you need to do is just point it at the corresponding IPSW file for your device. Again, and in this case, iOS 9.0.2. And if you receive an error at this point or even later after you click on restore, it can almost certainly be attributed to one of two things. Either 9.0.2 is no longer being signed or you downloaded the wrong IPSW for your device. With that said, obviously because we want to restore to iOS 9.0.2, we're going to click restore to this prompt, which is asking us if we want to go back to the firmware. So let's click on restore. I'm going to bring the iPhone 6S up here into view, and I'm also going to leave it on the screen throughout the duration of this process, just so you guys can see approximately how long it should take. Again, it will vary for you though, depending on your device as well as your computer. So it's currently preparing the iPhone for a software update, and it will actually go through a number of verifications checkpoints. So long as you follow this method exactly though, and you're within the 9.0.2 window, you should be good to go. Now, if you're not interested in watching this entire process, there will be a skip annotation on your screens now that will actually allow you to jump ahead. So again, ensure you're watching this on desktop. And one other thing to note is that the progress bar you'll receive below the Apple logo on your device itself will not align with the progress bars you see inside of iTunes because on your device, it's reminiscent of the entire restore, whereas inside of iTunes, it just resembles the current stage of the restore process it's actually on.
And now interestingly, iTunes appears to have finished the progress and we still have a bar on the iPhone itself. It is still filling up though, so it appears as though the restore was successful. Now, as you can see below the Apple logo, we still do have a bar. That's just the on-device consolidation step. So that shouldn't take too long whatsoever. The restore is finishing up. Again, you are safe to close out of iTunes now. All right, so here we go. The iPhone is back up. We're at the hello slide to setup screen here, and we do have a carrier update. I'm just going to click on download for that, followed by OK. Now, if you intend to jailbreak, it's very important that you actually set your device up as a new device, and then once you're done with the entire jailbreak process and you are jailbroken on iOS 9.0.2, then you can restore from your latest backup inside of iTunes if you happen to have it. Otherwise, if you need to go the iCloud route on your device, then you can at this point, again, just by setting it up on your device itself during the setup process. But I'm just going to click on setup as new iPhone followed by continue. And I'm actually going to go through the on-screen setup process here on the iPhone 6S. So I'm gonna be right back once I complete it. All right, so here we are at the final screen. It says, welcome to iPhone. I'm just going to tap on get started. And as you can see here, we are placed immediately on the home screen. So let's go ahead and launch up settings followed by general and then about and down below at the bottom. You'll notice for the version we are now on iOS 9.0.2 so we can jailbreak utilizing Pangu now. Just be sure to follow my untethered jailbreak tutorial. I will have it linked for you guys on your screens now. All right so that about wraps up this tutorial. I really do hope it helped you and I hope you found the information in it useful. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Now if you did happen to encounter issues for whatever reason that may be definitely re-watch this video because I can guarantee you the answer to your question or to your problem will actually be found throughout it at some point. Now, for those of you who are interested in my iPhone 6S giveaway, just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, and then download any of the sponsored apps in the main section. Just ensure that you earn points for your download, and once you do, go to the fourth tab, and you see that referral link there, take the unique part so it appears after the equals symbol and post it in the comment section of the video I have linked for you on your screens now, and it's really that simple. That giveaway will of course conclude soon and be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. I'll update you once a winner has been randomly selected for that as well as any time I post new content related to jailbreaking, iOS 9, and downgrades. Also for even more updates just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and until next time this is ICU signing out.